Welcome my fellow travelers, your traveling buddy here coming to you today from Okemos, Michigan. And I'm out here at the Meridian Mall out here to check out this place that it recently came here, but maybe about a year ago or so. This is a place called High Caliber. They got go-kart racing in there, um, all kinds of things like axe throwing, uh, they even have a, like what, one of those things they call a rage room, and that's what I'm here for. I'm actually gonna do the rage room. But let's figure just go check out high caliber and see what they got in there. So travel with me, will you? Like I said, this is Okemos, Michigan. This is the actual inside the Meridian Mall. And this is the place called High Caliber Carding and Entertainment. They got all kinds of stuff in there. This is the first time I've been here. I've never been here before. And I've been wanting to go there. And I actually asked permission and he said that you're able to film inside. So this is going to be fun. Okay, I had to do a voiceover right here because there was copyright music going on right here. But this is go-kart tracks right here. This is the smaller one here, and then the red in the background is the bigger track. <clears throat> so it's a real cool looking track and stuff like that. Lots of do. they have uh, what they call it. it's like pool it's like playing pool but you're the cue instead of you use a cue stick that's the cue stick right there it's real cool here we have axe throwing see there's some people in there right now throwing axe I'll put a link down to their site so you can see what the, how much it is. See? It's trying to get the bowl on it. That's pretty cool. Of course, they got all kinds of video games and stuff you can play. All kinds of games. See here, right here is the go-karts. You can actually look uh, through the window, watch people race them. Looks like they got a couple cars. There's, there's people on there right now. See so here's a sign that tells you, shows you what the courses are. Smooth path. This is high caliber, yeah, and then. Uh, there's the race line, there's the smaller car, uh, course, that's a bigger one. And I'll tell you the rules, green is go, the red, uh, the red and blue flag is allow cart to pass, final lap and finish. They even have lockers here, you can lock up some of your stuff. I'm not sure how much it is right here you can actually see so here's the rage room I'm gonna be doing look at this guy's in here doing it right now he's got a baseball bat that's cool you gotta wear a helmet of course see, they give you bottles and stuff to break Good way to really stress. <laughs> Love their theming in here. See all the graffiti at, uh, on the walls. Oh, look at the panda with guns. <laughs> or oh, there's one of the Goombas from Mario. There's the go-karts. This is high caliber. See right here by the track. Nobody's on the big one right now. Actually, this is the blue one. This is a small one. That's the red one over there. 
So I've never been here before. Yeah, they were telling me, you see this section right here, they're gonna be expanding and they're gonna have like archery, uh, like a zombie attack thing, maybe an escape room. Might have to come back for those. They actually said I can come back and film for their their uh, soft opening. So I'm gonna keep my ears open for that. So you can see they're actually in there working. That's gonna be cool. People resting. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> He hit that wall pretty hard. Fourteen, stop for me, please. All right. All right. Just you have to make sure you're straight. Right. All right. I'll put you guys back into speed. Okay, three. Two, so they control your speed. I see. Which is safe for like little kids like that. It's pretty cool. They don't sound like they're electric, not gas power. Ooh, hit the wall again. They got big springs on these walls, so they're pretty safe. Just to let you know to do a lot of the stuff you have to register to, you know a waiver so if you get hurt they're not responsible so just to let you know that I just did mine so you kind of come over here or you can do the VR code that's what this is what is this this room okay so this is our region store this is where you get to purchase any extra items from the region that you like um, this is also just where you get to pick out the crate that you want um, so the way that the region works is it's like you're renting out the room so it does come with one crate um, so that's kind of why we have the store area this is where you get to purchase any extra ones for the room um, so these are all the crates that you do get to pick out of if you would like an extra crate an extra crate will be twenty dollars um, we also do have individual items over here. This rack right here is going to be two dollars per item. This one is going to be twenty dollars per item, and this one is going to be forty dollars per item plus this printer thing. Um, so yeah, you're more than welcome to go ahead and look through the crates, pick whichever one you want, and then I will create two room for you. Okay, thank you very much. And your name is Emily. Emily. Well, thank you very much, Emily. <laughs>
<laughs> right, guys, this is the stuff we're gonna break. We got a couple plates in there, some vases, some uh, wine bottles. It's two dollars. That kind of stuff. Yeah, this, this is gonna be fun. And she did tell me she was like, if you want to, you can bring in some your own stuff. You want to break it? Just have for some rules. Uh, nothing with food in it or anything like that. It has to be. <laughs> Like you got an old printer, you bring it in, break it. <laughs> okay, now you do have to wear safety equipment. They do have like leather jackets here and um, face masks and all that. And they also have pants if you don't want to take a chance of ripping your pants that you can wear. Sorry about the uh, focus. It's kind of dark in here. And they have gloves. They have to wear. I know, no, you don't. On a recording? Um, so, basically, only one of you can actually be at the table at a time. Um, we ask that just because that's what you're most likely to use as a So, we also ask that so when one person's at the table, they'll be sitting in one of those two corners. Um, the reason for it is just you don't want to go to swing that access to that so you can head. It's happened a couple times because I'm sure you're talking about that. Uh, and also, because then we also ask that you please put your clothes in the middle. Um, that means please. And your arm is at this small amount of any other wall. The glasses does tend to float everywhere, so we try and keep it somewhat organized if you want to there. Um, we also ask you please try and stay clear of this window. If the glass hits the window, it's fine, so don't really see chuck anything out of it, basically. Um, but other than that, we also, so when you're hitting the objects on the table, like the weapons, you can do it however you would like. Um, we don't really have any rules for that, just basically be careful. Just remember you are hitting glass that is about to explode, and you are hitting, like, using three heavy duty weapons with it. So just, again, be a little more cautious with it, try not to hurt yourself. Um, the only rules that we really do have is if you're going to throw anything by hand, please go ahead and door for the floor. For some reason, the wooden parts of our walls are weirdly bouncy, and we have no idea why. So a lot of times with the heavier glass, it's not going to break, and it's just going to move right back at your head. And that's not really fun. I've had a couple people got hit in the head, or had a duck for their lives. So just, if you want to throw it, I do highly recommend it. It's my personal favorite, but please, please do it out the door before. I really don't want you to pass out during this. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, these are your weapons of choice. Again, you can use it however you want, whenever you want, whatever you would like. Um, and so one of the last things, if I need you or if I need to come in the room at all, or if you're about to switch or anything, I'm gonna bang up on the first step to give you guys a little heads up. I got to come in. Please don't like open the door or like please don't touch anything when I open the door and all that. Um, and also just you know, since there is a third of you, there can only be two people in the room at the right. time. So when you're ready to switch, you one of you has to go. I cannot have more than three of you in here. It does just tend to get pretty random and pretty dangerous with glass and weapons and everything. Um other than that, just any questions? No? Alright, this is gonna be fun. Thank you. Sledgehammer, couple hammers. Ah, I think I'll start with a baseball bat. Here we go, guys. Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll be like me, dude. I'll start with a bat. All right, let's get it. Let's all you drunk drivers out there to kill people. Oh, man. I guess I'm not going to take it. Oh, 
<laughs> Ow, that hurt my ears. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like a guy's gonna take another swing at it. My turn. I want to get a jar. See. Alright, let's see. Crow bar. How about a crow bar? Alright. Got a crow bar, guys. Alright. Get those legs like up. Come on. Get it. Dedicate to all our exes out there. 
Oh, Matt Regan would like to do that for his ex. <laughs>
guys liking this, give me a thumbs up. This is fun. No, this video give me a thumbs up share me out share me out on all the social media tell your friends tell your family about me so i can continue traveling and showing you cool stuff like this also leave me a comment any comments appreciated any ideas for me to do let me know i just might show up and do it so until next time my fellow travelers have a blessed day and i'll see you around the minute